Welcome to the Sanctuary. The armory is at your disposal. I have arranged the room to store your fortune as well as your trophies and achievements. That's quite a pile. One might almost term it a hillock. I'm not working in any brothel, let me tell you that. It's not every day a queen walks into the rebel headquarters. You've changed the world since we last stood here. You had a lot to do with it, Paige. But we still haven't changed things enough. Without Logan's troops, crime is becoming a serious problem. There's one man in particular, Nigel Ferret. He's making this city his own. Every criminal in Bowerstone reports to him now. He's too powerful for me to deal with, and he's not easy to find. But I know how you can get to him. Good. Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. They're going to strike the tavern in Bowerstone Market. If you get there in time, you can stop the raid. And at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up.
no. Please. Why would you want to kill me? I don't deserve death. If you cooperate, you won't get hurt. But if you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know we mean business, I'd like one of you to give us trouble, so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh look, we have a volunteer. The Queen, no less. Have at her, fellas. We're all gonna die eventually. We're just gonna die much sooner. Oh, yes. Hack the... Yeah, make the freaking toss-up bleed. That's not good enough to take us on. Now, you're gonna pay for your arrogance. It is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new centre of operations in Barristone Market. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavour to prevent its transference to an unauthorised individual. No, please. Let me live, please. I'm begging you. While my accomplices spent or gambled most of their earnings, I saved every gold coin I could to fulfill my burning ambition of exploring Albion one day and becoming a great adventurer, such as the ones whose stories I'd read in two-penny pamphlets and third-hand storybooks. More than anything, I wanted to meet heroes, though I knew their heyday had long passed and that the aging ruler of the kingdom was the last. It was the death of this ruler when I was 15 years of age that marked the beginning of a series of tragedies that were to befall my family. First, my eldest brother, Jason, was killed in a duel with an irate farmer who also happened to be the husband of Jason's last sexual conquest. The duel was fought using pitchforks and my brother, who had never done an honest day's work in his life, made the fatal mistake of holding the farming tool the wrong way round. It was shortly after this incident that the second eldest, William, was arrested for trying to run a con game by the wrong person, a passing plainclothes towns guard. He was taken to Bowerstone and was never heard of again. Then, my third brother, Quentin, contrived to accumulate enough gambling debts to have a price put on his head. Quentin's death I remember most clearly of all, for I was unfortunate enough to witness it. When the assassins and bounty hunters... Okay, fine. You got me. It's because of the failings of that yeah. king! And, well, or, or queen.
You again? It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Killer! Fast! You're a worm on a hook and we're the fish. No, no, wait. <coughs> She's one of those belts! We don't pull ourselves together, boys. We're gonna get wiped out. I hear you. I'll show you some real magic. I'm gonna... Please set me free! Never killed a queen before. Looking forward to it. What's this? Does she really think she can beat us? in there. Another belt in the chops and you'll beat the bugger. Hey, that dog ought to be muzzled. It's a vicious killer. <laughs> I'm gonna grind you into a... Don't you idiot! Bit my mate! This isn't looking good! <laughs> 